Israel Prime Minister Yair Lapid arrived in Germany on Sunday and this comes as part of his latest diplomatic effort to persuade Western powers to forego their nuclear deal with Iran. Now the nuclear deal has been stagnant since former US President Donald Trump, uh, Donald Trump withdrew in 2018. He also imposed more sanctions on Iran and there have been efforts to restore the agreement since 2021. However, last month's effort at restoration have been slowed down after Germany, France and Britain raised concerns about Iran's sincerity in restoring the deal. Now, prior to his visit, Lapid had thanked the three countries for the strong position on this matter. An Israeli official also said they did not expect a deal a renewal before November. Germany, France and Britain said that Iran was escalating its nuclear program beyond justification. Meanwhile, Iran slammed the comments, called them unconstructive. Lapid is scheduled to meet Chancellor Olaf Scholz along with Foreign Minister and President before returning to Israel later today. Now, Israel has been opposed to the revival of the 2015 accord. The Iran nuclear deal was signed in 2015 by Iran and several world powers, including the United States, the United Kingdom, Russia, France, China and Germany, and also the European Union. According to this framework, Iran would redesign and reduce its nuclear facilities. They will also accept the additional protocol in order to lift related economic sanctions. This would free up billions of dollars in oil revenue and frozen assets. Israel feels that Iran would use revenue from sanctions relief to bolster allied groups capable of attacking Israel. Now, last month, the European Union put forward a final draft of this agreement. The Union acts as the mediator of the nuclear talks. Iran and the United States then took turns to respond to this text. However, Washington said that Tehran's reply was a step backwards. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.